Haven Brahani is 19 years old and was diagnosed with autism and epilepsy as a young child. Health workers responsible for his care at Firminatus Charity Organization tell us Haven started to show steady progress since he came to the facility. But today, like many others at Firminatus, Haven doesn't gain sufficient food or medication. Uh, he is Haven uh, and one nine years old. So he is mentally retarded, especially he, ha he has an autism. So uh, he cannot, uh, I think his communication is good. Uh, and uh, we decided him just to go to the school uh, for learning or communication. Okay, so uh, Samat, he has a great communication. Haven. Fat and Dunai. Can they add Maha? Satashata. So he has a great communication, but somewhat uh, related to this, he has also a stroke. A stroke. So previously, uh, our company has a different supply on drugs and foods, and we, we give them like uh, uh, psychotherapy or physiotherapy, but at that time, uh, we have not any supply completely. It becomes zero. Mm? We don't have drugs, we don't have supply uh, because of the war which is Firmnatos is a local charity organization in Makale established in 2018 it is the only organization integrated that provides health care and education for children with autism but for more than a year now the organization has been denied access to banking service and a voluntary public health officer at the organization Samuel Mahari tells us this has meant that many have had to go without food or proper medical treatment due to the war there is blockage of transportation uh, yeah, communication, uh, internet, so finance, you know, uh, there is not also uh, drugs, you know, by the transportation, uh, there is not enough food. Uh, so they need special care. Mm -hmm. So the first thing is that uh, you need to uh, develop, I mean, uh, to respect their interests. So they may be, uh, become angry or shout at you. So this is one of the problems. Henoka body, like Haben, used to receive physical therapy and psychotherapy treatment here at Firminatos before the start of the siege that has all but crippled the organization. This uh, child, he has uh, somewhat <coughs> developmental delay, uh, is paralyzed, hemiparesis, and he has also autism. Mm -hmm. So the small brain, mm -hmm. mm, he just used a single word, uh, cannot make uh, a complete sentence. Yeah. Mm? So he needs to communicate with every person. Mm -hmm. He needs uh, to uh, g uh, different entertainments. Yeah. Almas Gabra Orko, a caregiver for children with autism and developmental delay at Firminatos, tells us that due to the start of the siege, many at the facility are not able to receive sufficient food or much needed medication. The children were in a much better place before the start of the war. They used to get nutritious food, diaper, soft papers, and soap. Everything was full here, but after the siege, they are unable to get nutritious food and medicine. Some of these children need psychiatric drugs, medication that's not available anywhere in Tigray now. And we are not able to find diapers either, so we use a piece of clothing that we can find. I call on the world to do what it can to help these children. The blanket suspension of public services such as banking, telecommunication, and electricity has left many integrated desperate, especially children like those in Fremnatos, who, due to no fault of their own, are not able to access medical or sanitation supplies.